day everyone, I am Legion Pimata from this Ed Mathematics 2A. And in this video, we will talk about double angle identities using cosine. We have our given sine x is equal to negative 4 over 5. We will find cos 2x. The formula using the double angle identities for cosine is this one. So if we have cos 2x, so it is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. But first, we need to find sine. The formula for sine is sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and it is equal to A over C. For cos theta, we have adjacent over hypotenuse and it is equal to B over C. Always remember that we need to masterize these six trigonometric functions. Now, if we have negative 4 over 5, our value for sine squared a, we will find the cos squared a. Since we have negative 4 over 5, our cos is missing. If we have this one, negative 4 over 5, and our 4 is our a, and our 5 is our c. So, let us illustrate using the right angle. No, using the right triangle. Okay, so we're using the right triangle. So, it is our angle A, angle B, and angle C. So, the opposite of angle A is side A. The opposite of angle B is side B, and the opposite of angle C is side C. So, when you name a right-angled triangle, so the A would be the shortest side, the B is more than A but less than C, and C, C is the longest side. If our C is 5 and our A is 4, so we will find B. It is because we need to input the answer of B here to complete this formula. So, as you can see, we have A and we have C and our B is missing. We will use Pythagorean theorem. Theorem, okay. So, if B is missing, we need to find B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. Our C is 5, put here, then squared, minus our A is 4, then squared. So 5 squared is 25, minus, copy the sign, then 4 squared is 16. So 25 minus 16, we have 9. So bring down B squared. So to find B, because B, uh, we need to find B, so it is because uh, B is missing, so we need to equate it in square root. Then cancel, cancel, B is equal to 3, because the square root of 9 is 3, it is perfect square. So now, we have our B. B is equal to 3. So here, our negative 3 over our C is 5. Then, substitute the value. So, cos, bring down 2x, is equal, or cos, cos squared x, since the variable is x, then sine squared x, bring down cos 2x, is equal, or cos x is negative 3 over 5 squared minus our sign is negative 4 over 5 squared because it's squared. The sign is squared. Cos is squared. 
So, cos times 2x. So, we'll use our scientific calculator. Okay. Using the scientific calculator, we can determine the answer for cos times 2x. So, let us input our values. So, negative 3 over 5, as you can see, and then minus negative 4 over 5 squared, and here is squared also. So, the answer is negative 7 over 25. So the final answer would be negative 7 over 25. So, it is our final answer. That's all for today. And I hope that you've learned something from our double angle identities using cosine. Thank you.